Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to export data from SQL Server to Pipe Delimited format. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to export data to Pipe Delimited format. So let's jump to the demo. So normally we export the data to CSV files. When we say CSV files, it means that comma separated values but sometimes the data can be separated by some other character as well like instead of comma we can separate the data using pipe or some other value as well I thought to make a video on this one because this might be helpful for some people so when we store data in SQL Server table then there is a major probability that a comma can be present in the data itself for example a comma can be present in addresses or sometimes in names as well like if you have stored the first name and last name into the same column at least not in the name then it can be present in the addresses anyhow so normally I prefer to export the data into the pipe delimited format because the probability of pipe being present in the data is very less as compared to a comma so that's why normally I prefer to export data in pipe delimited format so I think I can show you now like how we can export the data into the pipe delimited format so I use SQL Server database and in my work database I got a table dim date table so if I show you the data so this is the data like we have date values we have full day some we have lots of columns so I want to export all this data into the pipe delimited format so I think there are around 4000 records in this file yeah so there are 4000 records in this SQL server table so let me show you how we can export it so this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today to export the data we will be using the data flow task and then we can just configure the data flow task because we are going to read the data from a SQL server table then I will prefer using the OLEDB source so I can just drag and drop OLEDB source into the data flow task and then I can configure the OLEDB source I can click new to create a new connection so I already have a connection that I used earlier so I can use this connection here from the data access mode we can use SQL command and I prefer to write the SQL command instead of selecting the table name because sometimes if a new column got added into the table then sometimes the package can fail if you are using the just table name from here but if you are using the SQL command so if a new column got added then it won't affect the package execution now you can check the columns here so this seems fine click OK now we will be writing the data into the pipe delimited files so we will be using the flat file destination we can connect the OLEDB source with the flat file destination and then we can configure the flat file destination under flat file connection manager we need to click new to create a new connection so this is showing us all different formats like delimited fixed width fixed width with row delimiter and drag write but we will be using the delimited in this particular video so I can click ok here we need to give a name to the flat file connection manager and maybe I can call it like flat file and then we need to browse the file so during the SSIS package creation we need to just create a blank file here create my file in this particular folder D files location so I can just right click in new text document and maybe I can call it as dim date dot csv ok and now I can browse this particular file so from the text files I will select csv files and I can select this dim date file click open now I need to click on this checkbox column names in the first data row because I want to export my header information as well from the SQL server table okay and now I can go to the columns from columns the default delimiter is the comma delimiter but I want to use the delimiter as vertical bar which is also called as pipes now I can go to the advanced and in the advanced if you see you can check the data type for each column and you can change it if you want so for example for the first column which is date key the data type is 4 byte signed integer so which is good because this contains the numeric values like values is starting from 1 and going up to 4000 or 5000 so this is fine the another column is date column so the data type is database timestamp so this is fine it is storing the date so this is the data type for storing the date value so that's good now for example for full date they have used the string and for other they have used a string so according to the source metadata it has detected the data type and it has created the data type accordingly 
so normally i leave it as it is because most of the time it catches it correctly and uh, you don't need to change anything here but if you explicitly want to change a particular data type then you can change it you can just change the data type from here but i won't change it right now and i can leave it as it is and i can maybe go to the preview so this will be the column those will be generated so i can click on ok and i can go to the mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so in case one of the column is not mapped it got missed to map you can map it otherwise if a column is already mapped then you don't need to do anything here and now you can click on ok so now you have written the code to export the data from a sql server table to the pipe delimited file now i can just click on start button to run the ssis package so you can see that 4018 records got exported from a sql server table to the pipe delimited file so maybe i can go back to the location where the file is situated so this is the file dim date and maybe i can open it in text spread to show you how data will look like so this is the data like in the first column we got all the header information like date key date and each column is separated by a pipe and from the second line we got the actual data and each column is separated by a pipe as well that's why it's called a pipe delimited file so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much